This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. This video is designed to demonstrate the proper procedure to clean and flush a complete hydraulic system. An improper hydraulic system flush can lead to ongoing hydraulic issues and prolonged downtime. Contamination in an electric hydraulic system can be caused by a number of different substances. The most common are water, steel, aluminum, and small pieces of seals or o-rings. If steel contamination is found, the source is typically the cylinders. It is imperative to identify the type of contamination in order to address the root cause. After disassembling the hydraulic unit, all parts should be thoroughly washed in a parts washer equipped with a hose providing continuously pumped fluid. The valve lock, all hoses, and fittings need to be flushed. We will show you step by step how to properly disassemble a hydraulic unit to thoroughly flush and clean. Be sure to keep all components clean after flushing. Before working on your Fisher hydraulic unit, please obtain the proper mechanics guide from the Fisher website. Begin by disconnecting the hoses and removing the hydraulic unit from the headgear. Ensure that the hydraulic unit is drained of all its fluid. Remove the plow module and wiring harnesses from the unit followed by the valve coils. Next, remove the hydraulic fittings from the unit followed by the electric motor. For a V-plow or XLS hydraulic unit, remove the secondary valve block. Continue disassembling the unit by extracting the cartridge valves from the valve block. On a straight blade system, remove the boss plugs containing the poppet valves and bypass check valve. Loosen the relief valves and remove the components by using a pencil magnet making sure that all four components are removed. The Extreme V, XV2, Homesteader, HT series, and HS hydraulic units use different types of relief valves which are not interchangeable. It is important to ensure that these relief valve components are not mixed together. For example, there are high pressure and low pressure relief valves in an Extreme V and XV2 hydraulic unit. Putting a low pressure relief valve into a high pressure cavity or vice versa will result in multiple relief issues in the unit. Remove the quill assembly from the valve block. Next, unscrew the four machine screws that hold down the reservoir can and remove. Take out the magnet from inside the reservoir can and set aside for cleaning. Remove the pump from the valve block and take off the filter. Once all components are removed, wash each component in the parts washer. Be sure to flush out all the cavities in the valve block. After the unit has been flushed out, dry the valve block components with a blowgun. With the unit disassembled, it is a good time to check the condition of the pump shaft seal and motor bushing and replace if necessary. Once all components are flushed, cleaned, and dried, you can reassemble the unit. When reassembling the unit, be sure to lubricate all o-rings, set all relief valves to the proper pressure settings, and torque components according to the specifications listed in the mechanics guide. Lastly, if contamination is found in the hydraulic unit, it is crucial that you disassemble, clean, and flush all cylinders. Clean and inspect the rod, nut and seal, barrel, and if it is a double acting cylinder, the piston. Performing these necessary steps will ensure that all contaminants are flushed from the system. For any further questions regarding this procedure, please contact technical support for further guidance.